Hello and welcome everyone, this is Maddles and today I'm taking a look at the balance changes because that's always a fun thing to do, give my opinion on them and see what you guys think in the comments section below. So it is the call of action on October 2nd and basically as always Blizzard have put up a balance change map into the arcade, Belshia Vestige is going to be going up, it's a balance change, go check it out, it's going to be pretty good fun and there's just a couple of little changes so let's talk a little bit about what they're going to be doing. So first off, let's start with the Protoss, the big thing here is all about the Oracle and really the entire mindset again behind this is that they want to make the oracle a bit more of a harassment tool and also be a little more useful later game and that's where things are going to come first so the big thing here is the movement speed increase from 3.375 up to 4 that's actually quite a big jump in terms of how fast they're going to be moving what this means is there's more micro potential on the oracles they're going to hit faster they can escape easier and that is going to be really critical especially up in high levels of play you're going to be seeing oracles dancing and getting out again they're not as easy to take down say like marines and stalkers getting in good positions you can get in maybe pick off say like one two workers then escape again come back in that's harassment potential they're not as all in as they used to be secondly the acceleration increase from two to three well this is just adding on to the fact that the movement speed increases there it means that they're just going to be able to get in and out quicker, faster, and easier. Now, the next change is pretty cool. Revelation casting radius increased by 1 up to 10. This is going to be good in addition to the additional move speed, because move speed is going to be great for harassment in the kind of early game, just that, that quick damage in and out, but it's the revelation which is being used late game. If you've got any vision of the army, the fact it's moved up to a 10 uh, radius means you can get a lot of army in there very, very easily. Add it in with the movement and acceleration speed increases, you can dart in with an Oracle late game, chuck down a revelation and get back out of there without much trouble. So what does this mean in terms of how the oracle is going to be used? Well for a start it should see a bit more play early game especially with harassment. One oracle out now can actually do quite a lot. I can poke in, get out, stay alive. And that's the key thing, staying alive because one it can be used for more harassment and two it can start using revelation later game. So really cool with those changes. It should be pretty good. Now we do have the Terran changes here as well. Okay so Terran, Armoury, Vehicle and ship weapon upgrades have been combined into just one upgrade. So this is the same as the armor now. And this is actually going to be quite good for enhancing mech. But probably the big thing is how it's going to just really, really help Vikings get a bit more damage done. And I'll talk about it with some of the other changes as well that, that could be coming in. But um, especially... Um, just, well, Vikings are going to be the big benefit of this. And also, uh, we may see some really late game battle cruiser play get an advantage here, just due to the fact that it's going to have those upgrades there. If you have got mech, you can transition into those really late game battle cruisers if you want to. So, the siege tank, well, the siege mode attack period decreased from 3 to 2.7. So, basically, it just attacks a bit faster. This is really a buff to siege tanks because they have fallen out specifically. In Terran vs Zerg, they're not as popular as they used to be, so getting this slight increased attack speed means they'll be a bit more viable, they'll do a bit more damage, a bit more threatening. They should be incorporated into the compositions more. This is going to be exciting to see. But, to counteract that, really why the buff came in is what they wanted to make Siege Mode a little bit stronger, Siege Tanks a bit more viable, but they've nerfed Widow Mines, and this nerf to Widow Mines is specifically for TVZ, okay? They've reduced the splash radius from 1.75 down to 1.25. That just means that a couple of good Widow Mine hits won't annihilate a group of Zerglings and Bailings. Because before, if they were clumped up, they'd take out a lot. It was especially really noticeable the Widow Mines were stronger in slightly lower levels of play, in my opinion. And the reason for that is when players didn't have the micro potential to really split their army well, pick off Widow Mines easily, and a couple of Widow Mines... If a Zerg player um, got caught off guard and we just had all of their army group, boom, everything going down. So they've nerfed Widow Mines, buffed Siege Tanks. This will probably mainly affect Zerg, uh, Terror vs. Zerg, but it just should mean that Siege Tanks are a bit more viable. So rather than just going Marine Marauder Mine, it should be a bit more like Marine Tank compositions we've been seeing before, with a couple of Widow Mines scattered in. Um, that's going to be the big thing. Widow Mines earlier is still going to be really, really good. Um, of course, Widow Mine drops still solid. Now, the final change is going to be to Zergs. So Zergs Roach Run, Tunneling Claws upgrades now increase Burrowed Roach move speed um, up actually quite substantially, 1.41 up to 2.25. Big bump and I'll be interested to see how this plays out. It just means uh, some of the strategies like, for example, getting uh, Burrowed Roaches to deal against Protoss, especially Sentry Heavy compositions where you can force field, uh, force fields come down, you can, you can burrow underneath, could be quite good. We'll be seeing some interesting stuff. I'm not sure, in honesty, how much of a difference that change is going to make, but it probably will make things a little bit uh, a little bit more interesting. I'm not sure uh, what their, their whole aim is there, but it could lead to some more harassment style plays, some more sneaky ninja roaches 
tunneling their way into your base, killing off your units, killing off your workers. But I think the big changes really are to Terra. And that Siege tank on Widow Mine Play is going to have a big influence on the TVZ metagame. And that's the big change which I can see. The armory changes with the, the vehicle ship, vehicle and ship weapons game combined, that's going to be quite cool too. It'll be interesting to see how it works because it was tried back in beta of Heart of the Swarm. And it was a little bit overpowered there. And they, they reverted the changes. But the metagame shifted up a bit. There's been some changes. People got used to things more. So it should be pretty cool. But of course, those are the changes. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below because it'll be cool to know your thoughts your opinions thanks for tuning in and of course you can check out my cast daily over on my channel and over on twitch as well i stream live there most days so thanks for tuning in and yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below